As we enter May, two of the catalysts for better equity market performance have taken shape. First, more market-friendly results are now widely anticipated for the French elections this weekend. And secondly, we've seen earnings both in the US and now in Europe surprising to the upside on a large scale. As we move into May and into the summer months, however, uh, investors should prepare for a pivot on the part of central banks. First, on the part of the US Federal Reserve, as they raise the possibility of raising interest rates in June. And as well, on the part of the European Central Bank, uh, who we expect to shift its communications towards a less accommodative tone. We think this may bring near-term volatility for markets, especially for equity investors who have been rewarded for staying long through much of the first part of this year. As a result, we want to be much more selective about where we see opportunities. We still see opportunities in European banks and U.S. technology, but the opportunity for some profit-taking in U.S. equities, perhaps, is near. In the fixed income market, we also see opportunities given the still relatively low bond yields that are in place and a shift from directional bonds into really non-directional strategies uh, makes a lot of sense. In addition, as we've talked about for much of the year, alternative investment should factor in much more meaningfully as we go through the year as a surrogate uh, for fixed income uh, investments in portfolios. For more information and this transition we're seeing in portfolios, please see our report on UBP.com.